Well, despite a heated debate today during city council meeting, there were enough council members to vote in favor of pursuing an $11.4 million loan from the water development, the Texas Water Development Board, money that will go toward a plan to build an inner harbor desalinization plant. Our Bill Churchwell has a wrap up of today's vote. Finding an alternative water source is something the city of Corpus Christi has been seeking for decades. On Tuesday, city staff recommending the council's approval of an $11.4 million loan from the Texas Water Development Board to build a seawater desalinization plant. This shows an estimated breakdown of how the $11.4 million will be allocated. Staff saying the plan is the most cost effective and responsible solution to having a future water supply in the face of droughts and continued development. The loan will be similar to a home loan. The financial agreement is one of two parts of an expected total $222 million loan. But not everyone was ready to jump on board with the plan. Council member Gil Hernandez saying there hasn't been enough information provided and he wasn't alone. Things have been delayed, uh, obfuscated, and just overall disappointed in this whole process. I believe any decision we make that we're spending a taxpayer dollar, we have to know the cost in this case of the alternatives to what we're spending today. Again, we're, we're, we're not hiding anything. We're not hiding anything. We got the permits up there. We put as much information in it. It's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. Fernandez, along with council members Paul Guajardo and Rudy Garza, all voting no. Still, the measure had enough votes to move on. There will still need to be a second reading and vote on this issue. Bill Churchwell, Three News.